please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that like button if you like my video also click on that notification bell thank you server is not reachable or many times people will refer to as a server is not pingable or I cannot connect to the server so now let's get into some technical side of the things we we covered most of the conceptual things so now let's get into where we could actually run the commands and actually troubleshoot by logging into the server so when you get an issue where someone reports that server is not reachable there are a few set of rules that you have to follow that I'm going to show you one by one first thing is you have to do is you have to ping the destination server the server that is having the issue ping is the command that is built in with your Linux operating system in any flavor that you have in Linux ping comes pre-built or pre-installed in your server so you have to bring up your computer and run the command ping followed by the server name so let's do that as an example I have my Linux machine up and running and it's uh, my Linux machine name is my first Linux uh, VM um, now the first thing I wanted to do is let's say this, someone says the server a cannot connect to server B so that what is the name of the server of course you they will give you the information the server B is XYZ so in our example I will do is I'll ping the Google ping google.com so this is the first thing you have to do from your source this is your source computer and you are going to your target or destination computer which is Google so you go ahead and run ping google.com and as you could see you are getting the result back which means 64 bytes from this and it is coming back and it's going and doing an ICMP protocol and it's going to Google and asking hey are you there are you there and Google server comes back and says yes I'm here I'm here and you are getting a response back perfect so that is the first thing you have to do now going back to our set of steps second is if the server name is not pingable so you run the ping command and you uh, you you and you are not getting a ping return so what do you do let's look at our machine again and we will pick something we'll make up something that will not going to pick so I will do ping Google instead of dot com I'll do Google dot CP I know Google dot CP is doesn't exist it doesn't have a server or there is no um, host or DNS entry for it so I'll go ahead and ping it and it says hmm ping Google dot CP name or service not found so now the next thing is you have to do is it means that there is your name there the, the DNS entry for google.cp does not exist so you have to find the IP address of this um, destination server so if the server name is not pingable then ping the destination server IP address and how do we find the IP address there are a couple of ways to find the IP addresses of course first you go into your own um, documents go and find out what is the IP address of the server that is down and then you go in and ping the IP address now let's say if uh, if we know the IP address of um, Google so and we need to find out the IP address of the Google we'll do NS lookup NS lookup is another command or tool or utility that tells you or that translates you uh, host name to IP address so let's do google.com and hit enter you'll see it will return the name of the server and the IP address of the server okay so now you go ahead and ping 172.217.10.14 hit enter and now you see it is pinging that server by the IP address if you do the same thing to google.cp dot com Go then sorry google.cp only then you'll see 
that it is saying that I'm going to find the DNS information for that but I cannot find it it says server can find google.cp hmm yes because of, co of course it doesn't exist so let's go back to our set of instruction ping the server ping the destination server by IP we did ping it and it was pingable so it means there is something wrong with the DNS so now it says if IP is pingable then it means something wrong with the name resolution issue so what the next step that you, we need to do if we could ping from the IP but we cannot ping through the name then what we need to do is first we need to check the Etsy host file Etsy host file is the file a local file in a Linux or or there's also Etsy file in Windows as well but the path is not Etsy so that file is actually keeps the record locally of a host name and translated to the IP address so if I do cat host you'll see there is an IP address of my local host meaning my local computer if I ping local host you see it is pinging my local host with that IP address so I will go in and I'll check do I have an entry for the server that I'm pinging in my Etsy host if it's not there then what do you do next file you need to check is etsyresolve.conf is your server really has a DNS that is actually going and resolving it so to verify it you do cat etsyresolve.conf file this is where um, the DNS server information is saved so we are telling my machine which is this machine that every time you need to go out and resolve a host name with an IP address then you need to go to name server as 192.168.1.1 this is the name or this is the IP address of my modem or my router this is all this IP or this modem also serves as my DNS um, server my local DNS server so it is telling it every time you need to resolve something go to this so I have verified it it is there now every time when you need to resolve from hostname to IP address there is another file in your Linux machine do you remember the file okay if you don't the next file you have to check is called Etsy NS switch com file what is that file does that file is actually tells your computer hey whenever you need to resolve host name to IP address I will tell you to first go to the DNS server or go to Etsy file or wherever you have to go I will tell you where to look for so let's see what cat at cnswitch.com file says when you go in here you'll see if you go scroll up right here it says the password file is the local file of course this is now we're looking for here we are saying that we are looking for host if I need to resolve a host name with an IP address where should I go and my computer my server says hey first you need to go to files which is what my Etsy host file first go into that file and see if you could find the host name to IP address if you cannot find it then the next thing you need to do is to go to DNS okay I'll go to DNS now who is my DNS where should I go to ask how to resolve host name to IP address the DNS server to find it is where it's right here at cresolve.com so go at cresolve.com we already covered that and that is where it will go to find the host name and IP address coming back to our set of instructions if IP is pingable then it means something is wrong with your name and resolution uh, so you will check all these files next thing if IP is not pingable so you ping with the server name you ping with the IP nothing is working you cannot ping then what could be the issue well ping another server by the name and then by IP maybe the server we are trying to work with is actually down so regardless you ping with the host name 
or with the IP server, it is actually down. So what you do is you could try to ping another server in the network to see if you could reach other servers. So to first try with the name and then try with the IP address. So I'll go in and I will do is I will ping instead of Google, let's say I'll ping yahoo.com. And I'll say, hey, yes, I could ping it. Perfect. So it means there is nothing wrong with me or, or my computer. My computer can ping other computers or other servers. There's definitely something with the Google or the, your destination server. Next step is check if your server has an IP address. So if you cannot ping another server, meaning if you're trying to ping another server, let's say yahoo.com and you cannot ping that, then, <laughs> then definitely something with your own server. So check if your own server has an IP address. How to check that? You run the command if config. The if config command is the command that gives you the IP address of your own computer. Yes, you do have an IP address and yes, you could get onto the network so which you have confirmed already. That is perfect. Now the next step is ping your gateway and modem IP. So what is my gateway? So most of the time you could find your gateway information by doing netstat dash rnv when you hit enter, you'll see the gateway is right here. So now the next step is see if you could go to your gateway and gateway is the one that actually is going to let you go out and ping the server. So I'm going to go ping 192.168.1.1. Hit enter. Nice. Okay. I could ping my gateway. That is perfect. So now the question is if I cannot ping my gateway or even if I could ping my gateway but I could still cannot go outside or I cannot ping Google or I cannot ping Yahoo then what then the last thing that I have listed here is check physical cable connection yes it does happen it happened and I've seen it a few times you need to go to your own server this server that you logged in uh, by the way, you won't be able to log into the server anyway if your cable is disconnected. But I'm just saying, just in case, let's say if you are connected on the console or you are it's your laptop, you, you're logging in straight to your laptop, then check the physical connection or check your Wi-Fi network, whether it's working or not. Along the same line, going one step back, when you are pinging your gateway, you also have to verify that your gateway traffic or your routing is also set correctly how do you check you run the command netstat dash rnv hit enter you need to make sure all the traffic going to wherever it going because you see right here the first column says traffic wherever are you you going whichever the ip address you're going every time you have to go outside you have to go through the gateway from 192.168.1.1 that's what it's telling it and it's telling it gateway just think of gateway as actually the gate to go outside so when you have that set then it means you are all good if you do not have that set it means you do have an IP address but somehow you cannot go outside because you do not have a route so if you are leaving your house for example you know how to leave your house right you know there's a front door you could leave from the front door but if you do not have that if you do not know where the front door is then you cannot go anywhere right so that works the same way you have to define where your front door is and the way you could define it you could define it in this routing table if this is not set then you have to there's something wrong with your routing table and you have to run some routing commands to set your routing table and then it should work